Sunday evening? I don't know. So, I have some people asking me, is doing all that e-waste worth it? Well, in one month, that's just going to Ohio to board sort. That's not counting aluminum, shred, wire, um, extruded aluminum, all the other fun stuff, returnable cans. So, I guess it just depends on how much you want to do. Uh, I do this for a living, so, yeah. You know, I do it seven days a week. But just for instance, these are some boards. All right, 55 pounds, 450 a pound. There's 249 dollars and 98 cents. Just on that, if I sold it for for 450. I weighed these up. This is 300 dollars sitting right here. This little pile. So between three, that's almost 600 bucks. Between that pile, that pile. Now, I still have to add to this pile. These are three separate piles. Those would go on there. All of these are different categories. Power supplies, different category. Memory, different category. Um, PCI cards, different category. Backplane boards, different category. Wire. Um, so, yeah. So I've been cutting gold fingers. Got my little toy. Been whacking. Works pretty good. I don't know if I'll be able to do it one handed to show you, but we'll try it. Alright, we'll just take one of these crappy little boards. Uh, so, what I, all you do is just line it up. Put your little, put the blade down on it. Let's see what happens here. Yeah, I can be able to do this one handed. Hmm. But anyway, you get the gist of it. You just put it on there, line it up with the finger, and chop it off. So, I have to sort through all this mess. This is all depopulated boards I did today. This is a mix of tantalums, BGAs, my little counters, MLCCs, a bunch of this crap. So, yeah. But what you have to have to do this the way I do it is three things, and I've said this before. You gotta have time, patience, and knowledge. If you have two and not the third one, don't bother. Because it ain't going to help it. <clears throat> but. If it wasn't worth it. I wouldn't do it. My neighbor came over and dumped some crap. Oh. That's in here. Oh I see copper. But yeah. It's a. Uh, well, that could have been deadly. Jeez. Freaking fishing hooks. But you know. People try it and they can't do it or they don't know the different categories and they don't know how to process it. So right away, oh, it's not worth it. Now, my buddy that goes to Ohio with me all the time, every trip, me and him go, he'll tell me for a whole month, oh, you don't make the money, you don't make the money. But then when I get my, my check, he don't say a word. I rub it in his face. Now, I don't really value my time due to the fact that I work at home. So it's not like I'm, you know, got to get up in the morning and, uh, you know, punch a clock and work for the man and get yelled at and all that fun shit. I don't have to do that. So that's the only advantage I have <coughs> to doing this. But, um, I think it's worth it. And it's actually, a uh, a nice stress reliever. Um, there's nothing stressful about doing this. Once you get the hang of, you know, like a lot of the computers I have, like these here, they're basically all the same. So 
So, you know, you do one, two, or three, and then you figure out, you know, you get a hang of how they come apart, well, then you can just zip through the rest of them. It's really easy. Here's another big uh, copper heat sink right there. Look at that. So, like I said, it just depends on, you know, your point of view, I guess. To me, it's worth it. To other people, oh, I got this too today. <coughs> like, just delivered. And I'm going to use this little pallet to put one of my uh, barrels on. With the holes in the bottom, so it'll be up off the ground. And drain out when it rains. So, yeah, so I have this damn thing to deal with, too. <coughs> like, I don't have enough. And this pile came. There's all kinds of crap in here. Monitors and scanners. And that thing on the bottom is heavy as hell. I don't know what that is. And then my neighbor across the street came out and gave me a... Uh, clean out his garage today. <coughs> so I got a couple blowers. Well, it's for sale if you want to buy it. But I'm just going to take the motors off and throw the rest in the Shredinsky pile. And some of these heavy chairs. These things are heavy. I'm probably going to keep like two of them. Got like six of them. And the rest of those will go away. So. But that's my take on whether this is worth it or not. I don't know what else I can really tell you. Everybody has their little <coughs> their little niche and you know, this is mine. I know one thing, I'm freaking tired. But I'm still gonna Hang out and uh, do some more. Where's the sun? Oh, yeah. See, the sun's up there. The sun's got to go all the way down there yet. So, yeah. I'll be out here for a while. Cleaning up, organizing. I want to, uh, I think when I get done with this pile here, cutting the fingers off, I'm going to go over here and start sorting these out. These are all motherboards. These are all, I don't know. Those would be telecom boards if they'd be peripheral boards. So I'll just keep them separate. We'll see what old board sort says. But all these have to be separated. Because they're all mixed up in here. Large socket, small socket, metal socket, arm socket, knee socket. So, gotta do that. And I had somebody send me an email that they wanted these uh, pins. And I emailed them back, you know, what's your offer, and well, I haven't heard nothing back from them since a couple of days ago. But a lot of people are asking me, you know, well, I'll take this, and you know, how much for that? And I tell them I only deal with PayPal. I don't deal with checks, money orders, um, PayPal. That's all I deal with. So, um, if you want something... All you got to do is let me know you deal with PayPal. And, uh, ooh. Looky, looky. Um, and, you know, we can work something out. But all I do is um, you tell me what you want. I'll weigh it up, give you a price. If you accept the price, then I will um, wait for you to de make a deposit. For it in my PayPal, and when the money's there for the stuff you want, I'll ship it out the next day. That easy. And I do a lot of dealings with people in the PayPal, and I put some fingers in some asset for show my scrapper guy. So, but that's how I do that. No other way. I don't want to travel anywhere, meet anybody. I'd rather just throw it in the post office and not have to do it. My post office is half a mile away. My PayPal is at the click of a mouse. I don't have to really go that far. I was going to tell you guys something else, but I don't remember what it was. Oh, so that was, what did I say? 250 300 That's 550 I have like 425 in memory. So that's 975 and that's still not counting you know all the other stuff so I'm gonna have a good hit 
what I'm probably going to do is I might go to try to go to board sort on Friday um, with what I have because I'm not gonna get all those done there's no way and I'm not gonna get the ones in the basement done or the ones in Brian's yard done um, since everything is opened up here now pretty much I'm sure the city will be coming around so I'm gonna have to move some stuff and get these out of sight um, if worse comes to worse, I wanted to put those barrels behind uh, Brian's garage. I may have to dolly these over there. Um, just to get them out of the, the view. And I want to find somewhere to put this table. This table probably weighs 300 pounds. And most of it's the countertop weight. But I want to move this somewhere. Um, I was going to put it there, but I don't like my back to the fence. It's just a thing I have no matter where I go if I go in a restaurant I always have to sit facing the door if I'm at a casino I always sit at a machine where I'm facing like the entrance so I don't know no one will be sneaking up on me so that's my dilemma there but yeah my yard's a freaking mess again and I gotta do something with this here disaster like I said they opened up but it's gonna be a month or so before I go so that's my rant. Not really a rant, but a whatever you want to call it. I'm too tired to think. Too tired to think. But that's it, people. Is it worth doing e-waste? Yes. If you don't want to do it, let me know. I'll come and get your stuff. I'll do it for you. Show you how to do it. But anybody that's interested in some pins, let me know. Um, anybody that's interested in crystal oscillators, let me know. Um, I actually had a couple on here that had the little gold. Look at my hands. Look at my hands. I need to go give somebody a big old hug. Um, but yeah, like the silver oscillators like this. I probably got 25, 30 pounds of those. If anybody wants to buy an them. I'm just, I think what I really want to do is clean out. I think I want to get rid of low grade. The problem with low grade is, it's just, it takes up so much damn room. That, um, yeah, I don't, I don't know how I'd fit it. I have to do so much at a time. You know, take a couple hundred pounds at a time just to get rid of it. But, that's it guys. I'll see you later. Talk to you soon.